Hey, deserving listeners, it's just me today. Today, I need to give an update about the whole Tarasoff duty to warn thing. I've learned a lot of stuff recently. I've consulted with some some experts on this. I, I did an episode in which I talked about how our duty to warn uh, uh, requirements have, have changed recently due to, due to some recent case law in Washington state. And I think, I think it affects people in other states too. And I, in that episode, I was talking about how these case law situations were completely screwing up our duty to warn and making us have to report all sorts of stuff. And, and it was uh, ridiculous. And so I, after talking and consulting with some experts on this, I understand it much better now. And so I, I want to talk about that today, partially to disseminate the information, but also partially because it helps me to understand this better when I actually make an episode about it. <laughs> so today I'm going to talk fully about Tarasoff. I, I, I finally just sat down and said, okay, I, I need to actually learn the whole Tarasoff story. For those of you outside of psychotherapy, you're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> this is basically about therapists requirement that they protect the public from their clients. So if they have a client who is dangerous, what do they do? Because therapists are supposed to uphold confidentiality, right? Well, there are times when we are supposed to violate that confidentiality to protect other people if our client was threatening to kill someone or something. Well, I and many of my colleagues used to have a very simple understanding of this whole thing because there was a very simple guideline that we followed that we called Tarasoff. But recently, particularly in Washington State, there's there's been a case law where judges and courts and Supreme Courts have ruled in such a way that they're like, well, yeah, sure, Tarasoff is great, but there, there are other situations in which you also have to report in which and if you don't, you'll be fined, you'll be found negligent and liable. And so, so anyway, t- today I'm going to talk fully about Tarasoff because I, I just thought, well, maybe this is the episode where I, I really just do a deep dive into Tarasoff and really figure that one out. Because um, I understood it for the most part, but I didn't really understand the, the backstory very well. I'm also going to talk about the Peterson case, which is a 1983 case from Washington State that I've referred to in other episodes, but we we didn't know how that was going to be applied because there hadn't been a test case for it. But there was a test case, and it was the Volk, which is the big scary case that came out recently. I'm also going to talk about the Senate Bill 5800. I'm going to talk about duty to warn and the larger requirement for us, which is duty to protect. I'm going to talk about how to fulfill our duties to warn and, and to protect and how to avoid lawsuits. Welcome to the Psychology in Seattle podcast. I am your host, Dr. Kirk Honda. I'm a therapist and a professor. This episode is just for patrons of the podcast. So if you're listening to this and you're not a patron of the podcast yet, this episode will end before the content begins. If you want to hear the full episode, go to patreon.com and become a patron of the podcast. That's patreon.com. When you become a patron, Uh, I'll send you instructions on how to access hundreds of premium episodes like this one. And remember that a portion of your monthly pledge goes towards various charities that we support. (laughs) 